I'm going to show you how to open the case of a Task M424 Mark II. I've demonstrated the opening of cases in a few models of Task M Porter Studio before, and I've done that just by actually unscrewing it and then speeding up the footage. I'm not going to do that on this model because the way it's built, there's actually about 12 plastic recesses that look like they might contain screws and don't. I get confused about that myself. Um, it'd be very time consuming to film me just kind of rattling about with a screwdriver and holes that don't contain a screw. So what I've done is I've already unscrewed this and I've put a red bit of tape beside the holes that I've actually got a screw in. So if you freeze frame this and this, I've got to tip it to show you these screws back here, give you an idea of where you should be looking for the screws or where you're replacing them after you've opened it up. There's two kinds of screw involved. You have these longer ones, the wide ferrule that's screwing into plastic, and that corresponds to these red bits of tape. So we have one, two, three, four along this edge, two on either side at the back, and then there's three relating to the attachment of the transport inside. And then lastly, there's one either side of the mains plug. There's one other kind of screw involved, it's just a single screw and it's here where this piece of yellow tape is and that one's screwing into metal so it'll be of the kind with a narrower ferrule so it's the only one like that that you'll have. Assuming that you've taken all those screws out, from this side, the top, you don't need to remove any of the um, knobs or fader caps if you're not going to be removing the mixer. The only bit you do need to remove is this pitch control. So what you can do is, when you lift it up from the back, like it's a car bonnet, then that will come off. So just be careful you don't lose that. At that point, what you're going to find is there's two cables um, near to the where the main socket enters. Earth connection between the two halves of the unit, and you just pull that apart. And then there's this one cable that runs from the mixer down to this power board here. You can just pull it out. It connects this end here and then it will tip up like that you could just like leave that the two sides side by side or if you want to detach it completely there are three cables there's one here one here and one here and at that point the two parts of the unit are separate